All right, today is February the 8th, 2016. We're watching the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We've got a couple of storms offshore. We've got one here, and we've got a second uh, hurricane force storm right here. Uh, this system here has a, a transmitter applying heat right under the core. We can see that. Uh, this is, I believe, is a 957 millibar system. Uh, currently in Los Angeles at uh, 10 30 p.m., we have a temperature of 60 degrees. We've got 21% relative humidity. We've got 20% for the dew point and uh, 30.08 on the uh, barometer. All right, today we had very hot weather. It was 90 degrees, uh, 88, between 88 and 90, uh, where I was in the uh, LA area today. And we have uh, hotter temperatures tomorrow, and that's all because of this man made high pressure that's been installed into place to block these storm systems. Now, notice also that we've got a, uh, an area, a dark area between these two storms. This is a special area of high pressure that is uh, put into place with a transmitter, and that uh, separates uh, these two systems from uh, getting together and winding into one giant system. So, that is a deliberate. Uh, man-made high pressure right between those two uh, systems and uh, it is very dry uh, the last couple of days uh, clear uh, windy we've got low pressure uh, right down here this is a, a low pressure system showing up on the uh, 500 millibar and also the 300 millibar and we've got a lot of moisture moving up tropical moisture and it's all dead ending right along the uh, the uh, southwest border right here we had a good chance of rain yesterday and today, and all that's being blocked by this artificial man-made high pressure that pops up like a jack-in-the-box every time we have uh, these uh, storm systems moving in. And uh, once again, it was very clear today. There was no clouds anywhere, no uh, chemtrails. This is uh, being done purely with just high pressure. So uh, let's take a look at some of these other maps. Uh, we've got uh, the jet stream map. And we can see uh, what's happening here. We've got an uh, interruption right here, but most of that flow is moving right up uh, clockwise around this uh, high pressure that's been put into place. The entire west coast looks fairly, fairly dry. Here is the uh, western uh, U.S. water vapor loop. And uh, we can see that the uh, enormity of this system right here with one right behind it. And these are very powerful systems, and uh, they bring a lot of rain. Uh, this one right here would, would uh, cool things off for Southern California, but we're not getting anything from any direction. It's all been blocked. All right. Uh, here is the uh, infrared loop. And we can see uh, all this moisture is moving to the uh, east. All right, here's the surface. Uh, analysis map and we can see uh, that large hurricane force storm right here 956 millibar that's moving uh, to the uh, east and we have this two storms there's actually two lows winding around uh, right off of the west coast uh, one of them is moving north this one here is indicated to be moving towards the uh, west coast here but we have we've got so much high pressure that uh, nothing will get in that's also indicated here, very strong high pressure. All right, here is the 500 millibar map. Low pressure indicated here, we've got that low. That would bring some rain to the southwest. They're not letting that in. They're not letting any of this in. This is a just a high pressure that's stationary. It's been there and it will stay through tomorrow. All right, here's the 300 millibar. Same thing, we've got the low pressure indicated. High pressure all over indicated there. Big huge ridge. Okay, here is the uh, East Pacific water vapor loop. And uh, we can see that the uh, this tropical uh, flow has been cut off. They've uh, added some high pressure down in this area, and that is cutting off all of this thunderstorm moisture that was uh, drifting up towards the uh, U.S. Uh, yesterday we had a nice flow moving right straight up towards California, and that was all. Uh, blocked. We've got the high pressure up here blocking that, but now they've got they're putting high pressure down here, and that is uh, weakening all this uh, moisture and just drying everything out. So we've got a lot of open ocean that is uh, being exposed to UV, and that is uh, <clears throat> raising the 
uh, surface temperature of the ocean. Uh, these these man-made events that we're watching are uh, raising the ocean temperatures. This is not Mother Nature. Uh, this is not uh, historically correct. When you hear people say that this is all uh, just part of the global warming process and it's been happening for thousands of years, all that's a lot of baloney. What we're seeing here, uh, folks, is just uh, just weather manipulation. It's it's just in our faces. <clears throat> this is in your face weather manipulation 101, and this is a great example of that right here. We have a low pressure shown on the uh, 500 and 300 millibar charts right here. And uh, they've been uh, keeping a transmitter right on top of that. If you go back and take a look here, we see that this area here will not develop because they've got heat descending air right on top of that low. But once this moves away uh, from the uh, southwest, this will quickly redevelop like we've seen over and over. And uh, we will keep an eye on that. All right. Uh, <clears throat> here's the eastern East Pacific. This is where all that thunderstorm activity was. Uh, generating all that moisture that was moving uh, to the north. Now it's uh, moving more to the uh, northeast. Okay, uh, last we have the uh, SSEC uh, geostationary uh, map. This is the water vapor loop. We can see uh, a lot of aerosols being sprayed inside of this uh, <clears throat> storm front, this cold front here. There are uh, trails. We can see these uh, chemtrails all through here. And uh, that uh, that stuff blows over on the uh, winds. You know, the winds move from the uh, west to the east, and that stuff blows right over our uh, area, our region, and we can smell it. I wake up in the morning, and I can determine by my uh, sinus irritation if we have chemtrails out in the skies. And and you know, 98 out of out of 100 guesses. Or rather, 98 out of 100 uh, instances, uh, it is uh, correct. I'm my sinuses tell the truth. So, anyhow, uh, uh, this stuff is affecting not only the trees and the plants, but it's affecting our health. These uh, chemtrails, these aerosols that are being sprayed, uh, high bypass turbofan engines do not emit uh, jet uh, con or, uh, chemtrails. They do not. And if you just watch the commercial airline traffic uh, in and around our area in Los Angeles, we've got several major airports. We've got uh, jets flying over well above 30,000 feet on their way out to Hawaii and back. Um, there just is no, uh, there is no contrails coming out of those engines unless they are outfitted to uh, spray. And uh, so let's make that clear. All right. Um, and I want to thank Russ, uh, that video that you uh, took of the uh, of that jet leaving a, a short dissipating contrail, or rather a chemtrail, pardon me. Uh, that's very interesting, and I'm, I want to play that on the next video that I make. Uh, that was uh, great stuff. I've never seen a, a jet leaving a, a short a chemtrail that was uh, leaving a dashed line. So that that uh, sealed up the uh, case for me that. Uh, you know, these, these jets are doing that. It doesn't matter if it's a long trail, short trail. It's That's uh, bad stuff. All right. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we'll do another uh, update tomorrow.